Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharon and today I have some finished object as well as some whip that I'm going to show you. I'm very excited about the whip and without further ado, let's start with what I'm wearing. So right now I am wearing the Sara vest. So this is by Claudia Q and this is one of the unit project. It is a free pattern. If um, I am able to find the link, I will leave the link down below. So it is this very pretty vest I did show in the last podcast when it was a whip. It has this very pretty repeating lace pattern. It is just two, uh, sorry, four row repeat very pretty very it, but it is a cropped vest you can see it's cropped vest so this will look very nice if you're wearing a dress but i don't have a dress right now so i'm just wearing wearing it with this t-shirt and this shorts here very nice i like the shaping and then I like that it is cropped and I am so glad I chose this color for this vest so this is the yarn that I use so this is the knit pick gloss it's the DK weight and the name of the color name for this is clarity And then this one is 70% merino wool and 30% silk. So I used about four and a half balls of this. And this is only 50 gram, 123 yards. Yeah, so I use about four and a half balls. And yeah, it's a very simple, very quick knit. This is knit from bottom up. And the construction is very simple and easy to understand. And I really like it. So now I have a cropped vest. Um, and I, re I do realize I love making vests because it is faster, a lot faster than making sweater obviously because vest doesn't have any sleeve and i like wearing vest as well especially to the office to give me a little bit warm because yes office is super cold okay so that is my first finished object and super happy with it at least i finished something that um was a whip last week and I have another finished object which I have also shown in the last episode which is the Misty Jumper. So this is the next finished object. This is the Misty Jumper by Irene Lin. This one is also cropped. That's because I only have two, two cakes, two hanks of this hand dyed yarn so this hand dyed yarn is from beef sugar yarn i don't have the lab label with me because i think i have put it somewhere but i only have two hanks of this so this is from beef sugar yarn and the colorway is fantasy island it's just this peachy color colorway with some speckled it's very pretty and this is a single ply fingering weight and then the um, yoke area there is this mohair part and the mohair I use is this one I bought from one of our craft store. Yeah, one of our craft store, and that's the color. 
not sure if it's focusing. Hmm. Okay, it's not focusing. I'm not sure why. But so that's the color. And yeah, I would just wanted to show you the color because it is so pretty. It is cropped. It is not supposed to be cropped, but because I don't have enough yarn, so I make it crop. And then even the sleeve, it is also not exactly like a long sleeve, so it is like a um, three-quarter sleeve. But I like this because it is very lightweight and it is not too warm, so that's just right and it's just what I wanted. So I have also blocked this and yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. And I will also leave a link to her pattern, which is actually in Ravelry. It's a paid for pattern. I will leave it down below if you are interested. Very simple and fast knit as well. Right, so that's my second finished object. And I think that's all for my finished object. Um, I do have a few whips that I'm excited to show you and the progress I have made. And the first one I want to talk about is the Honeycomb Aran sweater. And this is by, let me see, Glenn, no, what's her name? I'll put it on the screen. And this is the honeycomb around the last time I have finished the back panel as well as um, I just started on the front panel. But now let me show you. So this is the back panel that I have shown a few times in the podcast. That's the back panel very pretty cabled work here and then I have the front piece finished so let me show you that's the front piece of the sweater so I have finished the front piece so this particular sweater is knit um, panel by uh, piece by piece so you you need the back and then the front and then the two sleeve and then you join them together in the end so I have the front piece and I also have finished one of the sleeve so let me show you so this is one of the sleeve that I have finished you can see the cable there It is so pretty. The cable work is really, really pretty. I'm starting to really get the hang of um, all these stitches. And although I do still have to refer to the chart. Oh, and the pattern is also a free pattern. You can find this pattern in Yarnspiration. I will also leave the link down below. It's free. So if you really want to give it a go and really want to do some cable work, this one is really nice and it's free so why not right so I am um, and this is using a um, worsted weight yarn which is uh, iron weight like yeah that's what the pattern says and then I am actually now working on the other sleeve I'm just starting on the second sleeve and that's how far I, I am yeah so and I am using this yarn so this yarn is just um, some I believe it's acrylic yarn and that's the color it's like this green variation like I think it's like um like a tonal kind of green 
and it looked really nice with um, the cable so I really love this and that is my first whip and super happy at how that is turning out I hope in the next podcast that I will be done with that and I can show you the whole pe- the whole thing all right so the second whip that I wanted to show you which I actually forgot to show you the last po- in the last podcast but I have been working on this as well okay and this is the mm, Missoni accomplished by S Espas Trico. It's a free pattern as well in Ravelry. I will leave that um, in the link below. And let me show you. So this is the Missoni accomplished. Oh, it looks so pretty. So in the pattern, um, they are also using um, somewhat uh, of a similar color, but the gray I'm using is a much darker gray and then they have this like off-white color work in here the zigzag color work so I'm going to tell you um, the yarn that I'm using for this so the yarn I am using is the this cone both the cone here which is which is from Hulse Garn and this is their line Coast and Coast is 55% cotton and 45% wool and this darker this gray is called lead the colorway lead and this is the colorway ivory so I'm ho- actually holding this double because it is um this is actually just a two ply two ply yarn so it is very it's even thinner than fingering weight so it's in between a lace weight and a fingering weight and the pattern call for something like um fingering weight and a mohair probably so that will be like make it like a sport weight or something like that so I am holding it double I'm making it into this cake I'm, and if you see here there is actually two um, two yarn together not sure why it's not focusing focus anyway so you know what I'm talking about so I have two yarn together okay okay and I have the ivory here as well so I am now starting to do the sleeve I have finished the body I finished the, the whole body I just need to do the sleeve and I just picked up the sleeve from the leftover um, from the leftover yarn and uh, there is also going to be this color work this color work uh, at the sleeve so I don't think it will take too long yeah so um, yeah this is another piece I'm super excited about and I cannot wait to finish this since I only have the sleeve left let's see how long that will take me okay so that's my second whip and then my third whip I just started mm, two days ago and then this is actually the April eh, sorry it's not no frill car no f- no fri- no frill sweater something like that yeah no f- yeah I think it's called no frill it's from petite knit let me see I, I'm sure a lot of you know um, this sweater it is quite popular and 
uh, instead of using the recommended um, yarn size or the hook size I actually use a much heavier weight yarn which is a four weight yarn also a worsted weight yarn and then the needle size I go up I go up a needle size so um, yeah the the pattern call for a four millimeter needle size for the body but instead I'm using a five millimeter needle size and let me show you I'm so excited Ta -da! isn't this so cute and pretty look at the color oh my god I love the color so cute so I'm still working at the yoke at the moment so I have not split for the sleeve yet still working on the yoke and then it is so pretty look at the yarn look at the color there's also some short row at the back oh isn't the color so cute so cute yeah I'm so excited it's like um it's like cotton candy the color is like cotton candy color and then i am using the yarn i'm using is i have the yarn here i'll tell you about the yarn let me show you the yarn with the label so this is the mary maxim super soft and the colorway is called sunrise look at the color they have here this is the color it's like cotton candy and it's called sunrise and this is 72 percent acrylic 28 percent percent polyester so it is super soft like um just like what the label here says so pretty and yeah so I am so excited to use this because it is so soft and yeah what do you think isn't it pretty isn't the color so pretty so yummy yeah so I'm only going to wear this if it's like super cold on a super cold day because I cannot wear this like every day if I wanted to because it's just too hot here all right so um, I'll also leave the link to the pattern um, down below so you can go check out the pattern and I have a last whip that I'm working on which is a test knit and this is the Lil Cardigan by Silva Knits she also have a YouTube channel here and, um, and she is this super super cute girl and yeah <laughs> I love watching her because she's just so cute and this is um, a cardigan it's um, um, if you can see I have done the the yoke area and now I am working on the body I just need to finish the body and then I will have to pick up the stitches for the sleeve and yeah super excited uh, at how it's turning out uh, this is how the back of the cardigan looks like and the yarn i am using for this is this cotton yarn oh no cotton yarn that i got from aliexpress so it's this purple and yeah so i'm excited to finish this as well i am 
excited to finish everything that I'm working on right now because I really want to wear them alright so actually that's all that I have to show you I don't have any other things to show you um, let me see yeah that's pretty it it's a pretty quick one and um, what else do you do I want to share let me see no nope, that's all so if there's any question that you like to ask me about any of the project that I'm working on feel free to leave them down below at the comment section and I will try my best to answer you and yeah that's all I have so stay safe and have a good weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!